spaghetti means endless plains. On the vast savanna, great herds of wildebeest and zebra roam. Predators are free to hunt them. But in the southeast corner of the Serengeti, there is a place where everything is different. The crater of this extinct volcano was only 19 kilometers wide. And is surrounded on all sides by cliffs reaching almost 700 meters high. Here in the highlands, temperatures drop quickly. On the crater floor, tensions can reach a boiling point. This cauldron is home to the most densely packed lion population in Africa. An area of 164 square kilometers contains the territories of six prides. The largest pride, the Lake Cats control the prime real estate. With access to the fresh waters of Lake Magadi and Gorigor Swamp, along with shade from the Larai Forest, their territory is a third of the crater. Defending it is Moran's job. His name means warrior in Maasai. Weighing 230 kilograms, he's built for battle. His large, dark mane serves to intimidate his rivals. With so little space available in the crater, conflict is inevitable and sometimes deadly. Moran has ruled the pride for three years. But male lions are not his only enemies. He must also fend off hyenas. Ancient enemies that hunt the same prey and live on the same land. One-on-one -on -one lions easily outweigh their tenacious foes. But while they are smaller, there are 380 hyenas here in Ngorongoro. They outnumber lions almost five to one. Hyena clans pose a serious risk to unprotected cubs. And any isolated and weak lion With Moran around, the hyenas won't come close. While he's a formidable warrior, he doesn't always assist in the hunt. In daylight, his large, dark mane makes him highly visible in the grass. So he leaves most of the hunting to the specialists. With stealth and speed, 
and strength. Females are better designed than males to hunt. For over 17 years, this lioness has perfected her talents. Her name means queen in Swahili. She has mastered the art of the stalk. Honed the timing of her ambush. Strangled the last breath from hundreds of her neighbors. Over the years, Malkia has taught these skills to her pride. But one student has surpassed the teacher. She is Malkia's daughter, Moja. Together, mother and daughter are a superb team. Their success feeds a growing pride. The Lake Cats now number 19 lions. Six lionesses, five juveniles, seven cubs, and Moran. For the Lake Cats, a buffalo is the ultimate prize. Gorogor Swamp in the heart of Lake Cat territory is an established watering hole. The Lake Cats know the buffalo drink here. And they know when. It's midday, and as the temperature in the cauldron rises, the buffalo need to quench their thirst. They weigh over 700 kilograms. And lions are the only predators that regularly bring them down. Predators, they look for the injured, the weak, the young, and the old. Malkia's eyes lock on one buffalo at the rear. The other lions see him too. limping badly on his front leg. One strategy for killing buffalo is tried and tested. They surround the target on all sides and use their weight and power to drag him down. The buffalo falls behind the herd and the hunters close in. His horns and hooves pose a deadly risk. The big cats need to be cautious. A young lioness makes the first move, moving in from behind. But she's lost the element of surprise. The others aren't in position. Buffalo counterattacks. Facing his huge horns, the lioness backs down. But the hunt's not over. The 
Indians don't pursue him into the swamp. It could take them hours to kill the buffalo. And in the water, they run the risk of being impaled by his horns. Today should have been a success. But Moja, the pride's best hunter, hasn't been seen in three days. Her cubs are also missing. At 17, Malkia is now too old to tackle a buffalo alone. Without Moja, the other hunters must improve their own skills. Each adult needs at least 10 kilograms of meat a day. Between all of them, that's almost 135 kilograms. Unless Moja returns to help, they'll have to attack and kill something big and dangerous without her. Just three degrees south of the equator, sunset and sunrise arrive quickly in Ngorongoro Crater. When dawn breaks on the following day, Malkia calls to her daughter Moja. But there's no response. Malkia's hunger is growing. To feed her raging appetite, she needs her daughter's help. But today, again, she may have to hunt without her. Southeast of Lake Magadi, two of the young females stalk the open plains of the crater. In the pale grass, they are perfectly camouflaged and virtually invisible to prey. At least three million years of evolution have prepared them for this moment. It's thought their ancestor looked a lot like a leopard. A solitary hunter, stalking and ambushing small animals in thick forests. But sometime in the past few million years, as the region became drier, the forest began to disappear and open up into grassy plains. The creature traded its spots for the pale yellow coat now required as camouflage. It evolved to hunt larger prey. It grew in size and developed bigger weapons, longer, stronger legs, and jaws powered by huge neck muscles. These hunters are built to kill on the open plains. But their larger size has a drawback. They can only maintain their best speed of 55 kilometers per hour for about 90 meters. The cats must get close before they strike. If the warthog sees them, they'll lose their chance. Claws sheathed, they inch forward.
Although each lioness weighs around 135 kilograms, they barely make a sound as they approach. of their presence ripples through the area. Today, with Moja missing, they still have difficulty hunting successfully. But five kilometers away, in the Manduzi swamp. Fortune favors their eternal enemies. An adult buffalo is a rare feast for hyenas. They are not big enough to actively hunt such a huge neighbor. This one is trapped. The hyenas begin eating the buffalo alive. They work quickly, before lions and other hyenas discover their feast. watch the activity below. Unlike the other meat eaters here, vultures rarely hunt and kill. They wait for others to do it for them. And if a resident dies of natural causes, vultures watching from the air are likely to be the first to detect it. They'll get there before the carcass attracts other scavengers. With superb vision, their eyes zoom in on anything dead or dying. And on the western side of Lake Magadi, something attracts their attention. It's Moja. Flies gather on open sores. She is thin and weak. Her four cubs are nowhere in sight. Her illness could be an ominous sign for all of the crater lions. 
In 1962, a plague of stable flies struck in Gorongoro's lions. Covered in festering sores, they became too weak to hunt. The population shrank to ten. Today, the lions living in the crater descend from that small group of survivors. But these relatives inherited a disturbing legacy. Their immune systems are weak from decades of inbreeding. Twice in the past 12 years, disease wiped out many of Ngorongoro's lions. And Malkia lost some of her best hunters. It might be happening again, starting with her daughter. If Moja doesn't recover soon, she will be unable to defend herself. successful for three days. So today, one of the young hunters tries a different strategy. At the edge of the Lurai forest, a small herd of Grant's gazelle takes turns drinking from a pool. The lioness uses the trees to conceal her approach. Always wary, Grant's gazelle can reach speeds of over 70 kilometers per hour. Much faster than a lion. But if the hunter can get close enough, she could surprise one. Lioness, the gazelle ran the wrong way into marshy ground. The struggle alerts the rest of the pride. They get their first taste of blood in days. It's only 70 kilograms of fresh meat. This single gazelle won't satisfy the Lakehead's huge appetites. Unlike lions, hyenas don't need stealth. They have stamina. They can chase their quarry at high speed for three kilometers without tiring. Although they ate an adult buffalo yesterday, these hyenas hunt again today. A hyena clan might have 80 members. And their search for meat never ends. Unable to outrun them, this wildebeest collapses from exhaustion. Their powerful jaws and specialized teeth are designed to crack bone. Other carnivores may waste up to 40% of their victims. 
But hyenas consume and digest almost everything. In less than 15 minutes, only the stomach contents and horns remain. They leave little for the vultures waiting above. Malkia's daughter clings to life. So the vultures wait. But they are being watched. Hyenas scan the sky, using vultures like beacons to find an easy meal. The vultures unknowingly lure Moja's enemies to her exact location. As night falls, an eerie quiet descends over the crater. <coughs> then, the whooping of hyenas shatters the silence. She summons the strength to face them, but the hyenas press their advantage. Moja was a great hunter, but now she's the hunted. Tonight, the moment belongs to her enemies. Malkia is starting to weaken. And in the cauldron, the weak die. Malkia and her hunters can't afford to let another chance escape them. On the southern edge of Gorogor Swamp, the Lakehats have a new opportunity to make a big kill. Buffalo have poor vision. They are only 30 meters away. But in the dim morning light, they can't see the pride.
catch fail again. The other two buffalo take cover in the swamp. They'll simply wait for the pride to move on. The pride is still adjusting to hunting without Moja. And Malkia has now become too slow to help in the chase. But hunger isn't their only problem now. There are enemies just outside their territory. Four powerful male lions lurk on the borders of Malkia and Moran's home. Now that they're over three years old, these nomadic lions have been chased out of their own prides in the crater. Today, they've set their sights on a big prize. The lake cat lionesses. The nomads are now sexually mature, and they want to mate. But to win control of the pride, These young males will first have to get past Moran. Moran has protected Malkia and her pride for three years. He's been victorious against invaders before. But now he's eight years old and almost past his prime. If the challengers come close, he will have to defend his pride again. But this time, it will be one against four. If Moran fails, his cubs may die. It's a cruel truth of nature. When a rival male wins a pride, he will try to find and kill the cubs fathered by the previous male. The cub's death brings the lionesses into heat and gives the new male a chance to mate. By now, Moran senses the nomads are nearby. He smells them and he makes sure they smell him. His potent scent around the perimeter of Laket territory is a clear warning. But the nomads ignore Moran's warnings. They invade Laket territory. a week the lake cats have gone without food 
as darkness shrouds the crater, the great pride finds itself under siege. of complete darkness in the heart of Lakehead territory the nomads finally reveal themselves they've killed a wildebeest They are feuding over the carcass alerts Moran to their exact location. He's outnumbered four to one. But this will not stop him. His sound and fury scares two of the males away. But the other two refuse to stand down. A display of power and dominance is preferable to the risk of injury. But his threats fail. Has no other option. The battle is brief but decisive. The nomads slink away into the night. successfully defended his cubs and his pride. Finally, after two days without a big kill, the lions have the meal that will feed them all. cats have filled their stomachs. There was over 135 kilograms of fresh meat on these bones. And with their rough tongues, the pride licks them clean. Now, the lake cats and their remaining cubs are safe. But for how long? The nomads will grow more confident and probably return to challenge Moran again. For 
as long as he can, Moran will defend Malkia and the pride. But there are some things he can't protect them from. The crater needs new blood. But it is rare for an outside male to find his way in. Around the rim, human villages further isolate the lake cats from outside prides. Until this changes, inbreeding and disease will continue to threaten the lake cat's future. In Africa's increasingly fragmented wild places, the future of other isolated prides is also in doubt. Moja and her cubs will never return. And Malkia's long reign is almost at an end. The pride's remaining hunters must now succeed on their own.